So I bought these two travel charges from eBay and they, as you can see, they sell it with a description. It is a original adaptive fast charging USB cable for Samsung Galaxy series. I doubt that they are originals because of, first of all, the price is less than five bucks. Uh, as far as I know, uh, Samsung doesn't uh, sell these, these chargers uh, for such a low price. And also, uh, if, if you look to the used ink, it's, it's different than the uh, charges that's, that's coming from Samsung. As you know, I can see, I have here I have a uh, original one, and please note I have uh, opened the original one, so that's why uh, you see these uh, marks uh, around it. You can see the, the text is, is really different. Uh, if you if you add to the, the the text at the sides, um, actually I don't see a lot of difference on on first view. Also the other side, not much of a difference. So first first thoughts uh, that I have uh, that are not original from eBay is because of the price uh, and also now uh, from the logo. So um, the best thing we can do is to uh, open uh, open up the charger and see. Uh, uh, what's inside of it and while I am reviewing this to you I see there is a difference how to uh, uh, how the USB entry is from the from the charger as you can see the original one this is the original one is reversed from the uh, fake one from eBay you can see that you have to uh, if you have to the original one you can enter it like this uh, for the other one, you have to uh, remove it around, and then you can enter uh, it in the uh, USB charger. <coughs> so let's have a uh, have a look inside. Uh, as you can see in in the previous video, you can see that uh, the charging differences uh, are none. Both of them have the same uh, quick charging ability, and the same uh, charging time uh, pops up on the uh, on the telephone. So um, let's see how the electronics inside are. <coughs> First of all, um, it, it, it was uh, very difficult to remove the top cover from Samsung um, using just a, a screwdriver. It was uh, it was not possible. So I used this tool to make a small uh, hole inside, and then I can pry a, a screwdriver inside, and then I could barely remove the top cover. But uh, finally, it was possible. So uh, that's something to, to remember uh, that these ones are very uh, very uh, difficult to open. However, the fake one from eBay that was really really easy to open. As you can see, there are almost no damages around it. I just could press it over here and then uh, put a screwdriver inside, and I could open the case. As you can see, if you watch the charger from inside you notice a big difference compared to the outside so this is the internal electronics from the fake one and this is the internal electronics from the original one original one fake one and the rear side, original one, and the fake one. So um, what I do notice when I am first looking to the to the PCB, I see that the the fake one already started to have some corrosion on the uh, uh, capacitor around the capacitor. No, I'm not showing. It's right to you in the camera. Uh, as you can see around the capacitor there is also already some corrosion around it and this is actually the, the high, high voltage uh, side so um, there is around 300 volts at this, at this side so if, if, if the corrosion starts to uh, get bigger there might be a, a short circuit causing uh, the fuse to blow and actually there is no fuse uh, in, in, in these chargers, in the fake chargers, they just use a a cheap resistor that uh, should act as a as a uh, fuse. Uh, whereas the, the Samsung original charger, you see no corrosion, and this one is already uh, more than one years old. Also on the other side, you see no corrosion, 
and you see a real uh, type of fuse. This is this is a fuse that's made to be a fuse. So if there is a problem with the circuit, and toasting can always happen, this fuse will protect you. And also, um, what you can see is that there's uh, there are more components on on the side of the of the of this uh, charger. Uh, the original charger has also a clear uh, um, clearance between the high high voltage side. So this is around uh, 300 volts and the low voltage side, you can see that uh, this plastic separator, including a uh, gap inside the PCB, separates the parts from the high voltage side and the low voltage side. Whereas the, the, the fake one, they, they just put a, a simple trace that is not even uh, uh, cut out in the board. They just uh, remove the copper, which is really easy to do. But it is not the safest thing you can do. The safest thing is to make a cutout in the PCB, and it's it's even more safe if you put uh, something like, for example, plastic parts inside these spaces. So there's no possibility that the high voltage side on this side, that there is a chance that it can come in contact with the low voltage side, uh, because if, if if that happens, it means that when you connect your uh, phone to the low uh, voltage side. And, and, and for some reason there is some um, well corrosion as you can already see on, on, on the rear side if there is corrosion on these two parts there might be a, a, a path for the voltage to um, get in contact between each other and then there is a possibility that you as phone user could touch your phone uh, and then get an electric shock so uh, it, it's, it's, it's a charger that's definitely fake that's one of that's uh, what's the most certain thing, and um, in my opinion, it's not the safest one that uh, they have sold. But uh, yeah, you buy it for five five bucks, including shipment. So um, yeah, the the price also matters in in this case. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you uh, liked it. Please uh, give me a thumbs up on the video, and uh, I will try to make more of these reviews. See you, bye bye.